Hello baseball fans, hope everybody's doing awesome out there, staying safe. Have any like or subscribe, please do so. Really appreciate your support. Best way you can help me out is by hitting like and subscribe and give away prizes to subscribers as well, just to say thank you for your support. So you're gonna get in on that. So a few months ago, I did a vlog about the priorities of the Toronto Blue Jays season this year, or off season, I should say. And they've done a lot of things right. I have to give the Blue Jays a pat on the back. But one big thing that's been missing from the Blue Jays offseason, that's right, extensions. Very worried that they're not going to get it done this year with Vladimir Guerrero Jr. only giving them two more years to get it done, and really one more year. Because if Vladdy doesn't get it done next year, then we're looking at his walk year to try to extend him, and that could get very difficult. But we're not talking about Vladdy today. We're actually going to focus our attention on Alec Manoa, the other player who I said the Jays really need to lock down and lock down early. They need to take the route that the Atlanta Braves, yes, Alec Anthopoulos, I know some Jays fans will go yay or nay to him, but nonetheless, he's done a great job in Atlanta locking down some of their younger players early for team-friendly deals. This concluded Acuna, Albies, Harris, and Spencer Strider, who we will compare to the Alec Manoa contract extension today. They signed Strider to a six-year, $75 million deal, giving them one more year of this pitcher and paying him an annual value of $13 bucks. That's the exact amount that I said on my previous vlog back in 2022 that we should have done with Alec Manoa. Six years, $75 million bucks. Now that the Braves have done it, it's actually going to be a little bit more ex expensive because that's how contracts go. Everybody wants to try to outbid another player just by a little bit. And does it justify paying Alec Manoa this money? I think so. Many people thought there'd be some sort of regression with Alec Manoa going into the 2022 season. But in fact, he pitched even better. He had an impressive 5.9 war went 16-7 and seven with a measly 2.24 war. Yeah, he would have been right up there for Cy Young. Justin Verlander didn't have that amazing season that he did with the Astros. Nonetheless, this guy has been dominant since he started, and with his small sample size with the Jays, he already has amassed an 8.7 war. He's gone 25-9 and nine and a 2.60 ERA. This all warrants signing this guy down, getting him controlled through his arbitration years and maybe a year or two afterwards. As I said before, though, the issue with Alec Manoa is he's a little bit older than Strider. He's 25 years old. So by giving him a six-year deal, because we have control for the next five, we're actually locking him into his early 30s, and he may want a little bit of a longer deal. But if we dangled that contract extension in front of him now, I think he'll bite. And now instead of 13 years, it's going to be uh, 13 million a year. It's going to be at least 14 million a year. But that's not too bad if you think about it. Six years, 84 million bucks, get this deal done? I think so. That includes a little bit of a bonus, gets everything done there for the Jays, controls them for one more year past his arbitration. Six years, 84 million dollars. Come on, Blue Jays, let's lock down Alec Manoa. And what do you guys think? Are you guys disappointed that the Jays haven't done any contract extensions this year? Do you think that Alec Manoa's contract should be similar to Strider's over there in Atlanta? And if so, do you think a contract around six years, 84 million bucks is still a steal for the Jays? I think so. But want to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. I hope everybody stays safe out there. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll ramble on soon. Take care, guys.